And now to one of the stories we've been following, no fewer than 172 students of the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization, AFACA in the Gabi local government area of Kaduna State, have been rescued. The Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arua, announced this via a statement issued on Friday. Around 30 students have been kidnapped from a forestry college in the northwest Nigerian state of Kaduna, according to the state security commissioner on Friday. The fourth mass school abduction in the country since December. The Federal College of Forestry Mechanization sits on the outskirts of Kaduna City, a region where banditry has festered for years. Kaduna State Security Commissioner said that an armed gang attacked the college at around 11.30 p.m. local time on Thursday. He said that the army rescued some 180 people early hours of Friday, but that, quote, about 30 students, a mix of males and females, are used to be accounted for. One local resident said he'd heard sporadic gunshots, which he initially thought were military exercises from the nearby Nigerian Defence Academy. The trend of abduct from boarding schools was started by the jihadist group Boko Haram, but it has since been taken up by armed criminal gangs seeking ransom. Military and police attempts to tackle the gangs have had little success so far. Many worry that authorities are exacerbating the situation by letting kidnappers go unpunished, paying them off or providing incentives. And as part of efforts to promote harmonious and tranquil environment in Kaduna State, Governor Nasir Arafai has promised to implement the recommendations submitted in a report. While commending the report that it reflects the challenges and solutions to the lingering intercommunal crisis, he said everyone must sheath their sword for peace to reign. And joining us now for more perspective on this is Francis Danladi Koza, leader Zango Kataf, local government area. Thank you for joining us on News Now tonight. So uh, let's talk about the, the report uh, that we just mentioned now, right? Yeah. So before we delve into the 2020 security report, though, what is your reaction to the abduction and subsequent release in the state? Well, I, I'm not surprised with the, the release. The, the, the rescue of the students because the security apparatus in Kaduna State are, are alert at all the moment, at any time. They are always alert. And uh, so I was not surprised that uh, they rescued the students. And I'm also not surprised that they attacked the school because what the bad parts of the are run away, uh, but the security pursues them and rescue the students. So I'm not surprised. It's, it's, it's a normal thing in Kaduna State because the security agencies are always at alert and they react promptly to such challenges. To the report now, what is your take on the institutional renovation to security challenges in Kaduna? Well, one good thing with the uh, Governor Erufai administration is that he does not do things the normal way. He always look at ways to improve situations, to bring innovation into situations. And that is why when he came in, and was faced with this problem of security insecurity. He now evolved a mechanism, a structure that will take care of the security in the state. And he created the Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs. Now, this ministry is serving the responsibility of coordinating security, security issues in the state. And it also liaises with security agencies, federal security agencies in the state, with the hope that uh, there was true security in the state. And that has really helped. In, 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 in maintaining security, life, security of life and property in the state. Secondly, the ministry also interact with individuals. They give us, they give us a daily report on the security situation in the state, no matter how bad it is. And therefore, because government believes that security is not just government business, it's everybody's business. And so people should be interested in what is happening in the state. And so every day, the ministry come out with figures where there are attacks. It comes out with figures of those who are killed, properties that were destroyed, and so on and so forth. So that the indigents, the, the, the residents of the state, will be aware of what is happening. And they prepare to face the consequences of that action. So, so security is everybody's business. And therefore, government is not just liaising with individuals. It is also liaising with the public and liaising with the security agencies to ensure that peace and security is restored in Kaduna State. 
So you just said that security is everybody's business. So let's talk about the process of gathering, yeah. uh, you know, uh, the, the report. How transparent is the process, talking about the 2020 security report? Again, for the first time, the Ministry of Home Security, the Home Security, and, the, and they, they, for the first time, they came out with a report, an annual report. It has not been done in any state in the country. And these reports are data gathered by security agencies across the state. Secondly, traditional rulers who are directly involved in the management of security in their own locality, in their own kingdoms, also give data to the security, to the of security affairs, and they gather this information and compile in that report. So that report is authentic, authentic in the sense that because I was involved in gathering information in the Ethiopian kingdom. Because I am a member of committee in the Chapter Two, and we get we went every village and take note of the deaths, the destruction of properties, the the, 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 the deaths that occurred, the people that were maimed, and so on and so forth. And we gather this report comprehensively and send it over to the to to to, to, to the ministry. And the ministry also get information from the security agencies. And so they collaborate and collect all this information and form it into that, into that report. And I think the report is authentic, very very authentic. Okay, so before I let you go, though, uh, let's talk about the Peace Commission set up by the state government. How big of an impact do you think this will have on the state? Well, oh, they, they are doing a great job. Uh, they, what they are doing now is to gather youths and train them on the need to maintain law and order in society. They have trained people, they are mediating in different areas of insecurity in the state. They are going to go to discuss with traditional rulers, with the youths, with everybody holding meetings, holding workshops here and there, and training people on mediation on how to resolve conflict and resolution uh, conflict in the, in the state. So they are doing a great work, and they are with, with the Ministry of the Home Security and the, 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 the Peace Commission. Peace will be restored in Kaduna State. Okay, that's a safe place to land. Peace will be restored in Kaduna State. Uh, we have been speaking with uh, Barrister Francis Danladi Koza, a senior title holder in Zongo Kata of local government area of Kaduna State. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.